on election night, some will watch every minute of coverage, while others will be relying on updates from their phone. And we asked Scripps National Political Editor Joe St. George, what are the important moments you should keep an eye out for tomorrow night? Perhaps on election night, you don't plan on changing your schedule. If you're meant to play pool, well, you play pool. So if you aren't planning on watching wall-to-wall -wall coverage on election night, what should you be on the lookout for when your phone starts to buzz? Tip number one, if Ohio, North Carolina, or Florida is called for Biden, it could spell trouble for Republicans. This is because these are states Biden can afford to lose, but the president can't. And there's a slim chance we'll know the results in Ohio, Florida, and North Carolina on Tuesday night because these states are processing ballots early and can tally them up quickly. It means potentially an earlier projection. The rules for processing ballots early don't apply in places like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Which leads us to tip number two. Networks will be slower than usual to project most states this year. Patrick Murray has consulted with various decision desks over the years and explains why. It's going to be a tough one for uh, any of the networks who are trying to figure out what's going on uh, because we don't know what proportion of the vote is going to be done by mail. Uh, we know that a certain uh, large number of voters are going to be voting by mail for the first time and don't know how that's going to work. And there could be questions about how many of them are actually counted and filled out properly. Tip number three, early results will likely favor Democrats. That's because data shows more Democrats voting earlier than Republicans in most states. The first batch of results will likely feature early votes and more Republicans are expected to vote on Election Day. If President Trump wins re-election, it could very well be a come from behind win. But the best advice maybe to keep your game of pool as scheduled, because there are so many mail-in ballots this year, it's going to be difficult for election officials to have a result on Election Day. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.